Hi. All right, so um, we're going to do a quick little video, show uh, Punnett Squares for the classes that didn't get to do that yesterday. Um, this is your cat square worksheet that you got on Monday, got yesterday. Again, we're going to just do a couple examples and then uh, hopefully that will help you guide through. Make sure if you started watching, it's, it's confusing, I know uh, there's two videos. This one should be the first one you watch and then the second one will actually be the first one in the Edmodo timeline. Anyway, just watch them backwards. Watch the cat square one first. And if you already watched the other one, you're probably really confused. So and now everybody's really, really confused. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna do number one together. So you have your chart up here showing you, um, you know, dominant and recessive, which traits are dominant, which ones are recessive. Remember the letters, those are the alleles, okay? Um, so the first one says heterozygous short hair crossed with a heterozygous short hair. So remember heterozygous is always just gonna mean one capital letter, one lowercase letter, hetero meaning different, okay? So the, um, sh the hair is represented, the allele is gonna be H's, okay? So heterozygous short hair is gonna be big H, little h, and we're gonna cross it with, same thing, heterozygous short hair, so big H, little h. All right, remember, draw our little window pane. One parent goes up top, okay, and separate the alleles. Then one parent goes on the left side. Again, separate the alleles. Now we're just gonna fill in our boxes, real simple. Okay, so here's gonna be big H, big H, big H, little H, big H, little H, and then little H, little H. So you have the different scenarios. Now it wants you to do two different ratios. So a genotypic ratio and a phenotypic ratio. Remember, if it's talking genotype, that's the actual allele combination. That's the letters and the actual letters. If it's talking phenotype, that's the physical trait. So in this case, so whether the cat has short hair or long hair, okay? So the genotypic ratio, we're looking at the letters. So how many big H, big H's do we have? We have one, okay, big H, little h. We have two, and then little h, little h, we have one. So your ratio then would just be one to two to one. And then your phenotypic ratio, so physical trait, okay? So short hair, remember short hair is dominant. So how many are gonna code for short hair? It's gonna be three. And then for long hair, which is the recessive trait, to get the recessive trait, you have to have two recessive alleles. So it's gonna be one. So then your ratio is three to one. And you've got two more on the front side that are pretty much exactly like that, okay? On the back side, this is the dihybrid crosses. This is what we barely, barely talked about this in the notes about when you look at how two traits are passed on at the same time. We're just gonna set this up for you and then and then um, kind of give you one example of how to set these up, okay? Um, so on the back side of your looking, number four is the one we'll look at. So it's again, um, homozygous short hair. So homozygous short hair. Remember, short hair is dominant. So homozygous is gonna be big H, big H. And that same cat is homozygous color print. Okay, so homozygous color print, that's the uh, markings on the nose and ear and whatnot, and that's actually the recessive trait. So homozygous color print is gonna be little n, little n. That's all one cat. Okay, so now we're gonna cr cross it with homozygous long hair. Okay, so that's gonna be again recessive, but for the hair, so little h's. And then homozygous normal for the color print markings. So homozygous normal, that's the dominant trait, so it's gonna be big N, big N, okay? And the way that, that and again, we didn't get this in class, so you really need to pay attention. The way I like to, to show you how to set these up is just number the alleles off, okay? One, two, three, four, and then the other parent, number the alleles off. And then you're just gonna think in your head, okay, one to three, one to four, two to three, two to four, okay? And that's how it's gonna show you to split the alleles up and, and actually match them up. So this is one that I've been talking about in class where it's 16 squares, okay? So we're here, all right? And again, one parent's gonna go up top, but again, you have to separate the alleles out. The other parent goes on the left side, separate the alleles out. How do you separate them out? One to three, so those are gonna match up. So big H, little n. One to four, big H, little m. Two to three, big H, little m. Two to four, big H, little m, okay? 
Now for the other parent, same thing. One to three, one to four, two to three, two to four. Okay, and there's that little sing-song kind of rhyme you can, well, it doesn't rhyme, but you know what I mean. One to three, one to four, and then two to three, two to four, okay? So one to three is gonna be little h, big N. One to four, little h, big N. And you can see, I mean, once you get used to it, it's gonna be the same thing every time, okay? So little h, big N, little h, big N. Now we put our alleles back together in the squares. And I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but you can kind of see, okay? So just put your alleles back together. So put your H's back together, big H, little h. Put your N's back together, big N, little n. Same thing here, big H, little h, big N, little n. Big H, little h, big N, little n. And one more time, big H, little h, Big in the lid. You just fill them back in all the way down. Okay. And then for your ratios for those, it's just going to take a lot of counting. Your genotypic ratio, you're doing the same thing. How many big H, little H, big N, little N's? How many big H, big H, and so on and so on and so on. Okay. And then your phenotypic ratio, again, same thing. You're looking at the physical trait. How many homo, how many um, short hair and you know, color print, how many long hair and color print, how many short hair and normal, long hair normal, and so on and so on. Okay, so that's how you set those up. Hopefully you can at least kind of set them up and see what they look like. We'll go over this together Wednesday when I get back, but I'd like you to at least try some on your own. Um, that's about it. If you have any questions, message me on Edmodo and we'll see y'all Wednesday.